the elements of 15 were already here in Cornwall. You got me figured out. Cornwall has some uh, quite deprived areas and there are elements for people living in Cornwall which are very difficult. Housing is in short supply, jobs are seasonal on the whole. Employment is high but poorly paid. Do you see the scars on my skin? Look a little I'm also chief executive of a thing called the Cornwall Foundation of Promise and that is the charity which owns the restaurant, owns this building and owns the whole programme. As a true social enterprise, the commercial side, the people through the door eating lunch and dinner and breakfast with us, is paying for the kids that are cooking it for them. The main aim of, of the Foundation of Promise is, is just to do the best for disadvantaged Cornish kids. My role is predominantly to make sure they get the training that we promise them, whether that be here in the kitchen or at college. This apprenticeship is quite fast track really, so within, within the year that they spend in the kitchen here it's quite intense. They cover a lot of sections in the kitchen. There's all sorts of challenges for, the, for them along the way, not just in the kitchen, but from uh, a welfare point of view as well. Any issue that comes up, we'll look at and we'll support. The sort of support we offer could be around issues such as drug and alcohol, anger management, housing, finance, sexual health, anything like that. So we're looking for people who are not really doing much and they've left school, not much prospects, so we try and give them a lift up in life. Uh, we have a sourcing policy at 15 Cornwall that 80% of our produce will be from Cornwall. And the menus are planned daily on, on what comes in, so we have a, with our local growers, it's the beginning of the week, we talk to them at the beginning of the week, what's going to be ready, what's going to be uh, ripe. That's supplemented with the Italian produce and on a daily basis we just kind of sort of mix that together to come up with our menus. And over the years with our three growers, we've actually sort of managed to get them actually growing Italian products right here in Cornwall. Black Hats are the, the fully trained chefs, uh, they're sort of chef to party level which basically means they, they run the sections and they've had sort of like minimum four or five years experience in the trade and obviously then the White Hats are the trainees. We take on the students into the kitchen and it's a one-to-one it's -one basis so for every White Hat there is a Black Hat. They're not just kind of thrown in and left to it, they have a, a, an immediate support and that support is gradually taken away throughout the year until they stand on their own two feet, which culminates in, in student week. At the end of the year, the students actually take over the kitchen for the, themselves and they run the whole kitchen for an entire week. We're about taking disadvantaged kids uh, and helping them do things. And at the moment we do that spectacularly well, well in the restaurant world, but maybe one day we'll do it uh, in another world. We like to think that you know, maybe they leave here with a sort of first class ticket through life if they want to grab it. Um, that's what we do, that's what the Foundation of Promise does and that's what 15 does.